We have just completed our income statement for Julie's Plumbing Supplies. Time to move over and do the statement of changes in equity. Let's do it. And this is going to take a three line title. Start with the name of the company. Julie's Plumbing Supplies. Move on to the name of the statement. Statement of changes in shareholders equity and then the date and again for the year ended and then the date March 31st 2024 I haven't introduced anything new here so we just have the two key accounts common shares and retained earnings uh, we could potentially have preferred shares or some other types of equity accounts that you'll learn about in it intermediate accounting class but in intro class you might have common shares or share capital and retained earnings are pretty much par for the course uh, and then of course totals those are our big three columns and we start with how much of this we had on the first day of the year and the first day of the year would have been March, April 1st 2023 So what were my common shares at the beginning of the year? Well, that's the number off of the uh, trial balance here, a thousand bucks, and my retained earnings at the beginning was 41,000. Totaling to 42. Then we say, how did they change? The question notes, I'm looking at B now, let me erase my highlighting, this highlighting's probably all in the way. I'm looking at part B. Part B says, assuming no shares were issued or repurchased, do a statement of changes in equity. So how did they change? Well, my shares didn't change. My shares started at 1,000, ended at 1,000. There was no change in common shares. What about retained earnings? Retained earnings always changes. We're going to add net income. And there was net income. How do I know? Because I just did the income statement. The bottom line from the income statement, 57,000, that comes up. So we're going to add 57,000 to our retained earnings. The total net income was 57,000. And we're always going to be deducting, if there are any, dividends. So we deduct dividends, and the dividends in this case were six. Just right. <laughs> I'm the worst arrow drawer in the league. Hold on, I'm going to try to draw a beautiful arrow. Wow, not great, not great. Ink to shape. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. Ink to shape. Huh. Nothing happened. There's a little mode here that I, I thought I was in. Anyway, 6,000. You guys see it. I see it. We all see it. It's 6,000. Trying out new features on the fly. Not the best idea when you're making a video. <laughs> Ink to shape. Really, it should have worked. Let me try it again. Oh, it did a line. Hold on. It can't figure out an arrow. It can figure out a line. So if I do this, no. What about this? No. Bizarre, bizarre. It's not a good feature, Microsoft. I'm giving you feedback on the fly. I use a software called OneNote to do these, and I really quite like it. But anyway, it wasn't working there. Uh, our end of period, March 31st, 2023. Our common shares are a thousand. They didn't change. Our retained earnings, forty-one, goes up by fifty-seven, then down by six. This brings us up to ninety-two. Forty-one plus fifty-seven minus six. Uh, one plus ninety-two is ninety-three, and the math works both ways. Forty-two plus fifty-seven minus six is also ninety-three. Double underlines across the board. Dollar signs at the top of each column and dollar signs beside the bottom line. And there we have it, our statement of changes in equity. In the next video, we're going to look at the balance sheet. Stay tuned.